Hi everyone and welcome for today's video. Today we are having a 30 by 60 cm canvas and I again play with the Arteza paints which Arteza has sent over to me and which I really fell in love working with. If you want to have your teaser paints yourself, I have made some links for you US and European guys in my video description and also my 10% um, discount code which you can use to get 10% off your orders. And when you click my links down there, you will also support my channel because Arteza is going to send me a small commission, but it will have no extra cost for you at all. So if you'd like to give me some support and need new art supplies, I would be happy if you do so. Or just if you are in Germany, you can use my Amazon links for the same reason. So, but other than that, we are having the Arteza Gold, the White, the Burnt Umber, Yellow Ochre and Sienna. And now you might wonder that this is not a really typical Michael color palette at all. And you are so right. I just wanted to see if I can make an earthy pour. It basically was inspired by the swipe that I was asked to in my 20k subscriber event. And I wanted to play a bit more with this color palette because I kind of liked it, but also because I thought I kind of failed in the swiping. So this one today is going to be a negative space pour with a white underlayer paint and a yeah drag with the other colors. So let's see what result we can get here today. As the paint mixture, as usual, I'm using my acrylic binder, which I've used for the last almost a year now, and mixed in the paint, same as I did always. It's about two thirds of the binder and one third of the paint, perhaps three quarters of binder and one quarter of paint, I never measure anything. And then I add some water to get a consistency that I like working with. It went pretty sweet, so the Paints combine really, really well with the acrylic binder as well as they would do with the float roll in case you use this as a pro medium or whatever pro medium you actually use. These paints are just pretty. The gold is a bit lighter in color than I am used to with my Artina gold, but it works almost the same when it's dry. So it's a bit lighter, but it has the same beautiful shimmer and gives you the same effects that I used to have with my Artina paints. So in case you're looking for a really cool gold, which looks awesome when dry, you can head over to the Arteza gold as well. As well as their Taylor blue. I really love how this one looks. It's the same color and shade and works exactly the same as the blue that I used to use with Artina. So this might be an alternative for you because Artina still is only available in Germany and or parts of Europe. Returning back to the painting itself, I just mixed the paints as you've seen, made the base layer in white and also added some drops of silicone in my color color paint. <laughs> so there is no silicone in the white but there is silicone in the colors and only a couple of drops as you can see and the silicone that I'm using is also linked down below in the video description in the Amazon links just in case you're wondering. This is the only silicone that I've used for about two years now. It lasts forever and it's 100% dimethicone in case you wonder. It gives me beautiful cells, it works great. It's just the one I've used ever since and it's so brilliant for me I wouldn't even think about changing. So this is actually my go-to silicone. When it comes to the pouring cup where I put my colors in, which is finally going to be dragged over the canvas, I will put a small pin underneath of the cup so that there is a hole punched through so that there is some air coming in and allows the paint to flow out better when you yeah, want to drag the paint over it. You will see when this part comes. Other than that, it is basically just layering up the paints in my cup to an order that I think might look nice. I don't know. <laughs> it is just so random. And then flipping the cup, adding the base layer paint around it and dragging it over there. For those of you who did this technique before, you probably know that this is pretty much unpredictable. It is pretty much easy, but you never know about the result that you're going to achieve. The more of base layer paint you're going to have and the thicker it is, the more yeah, of the paint flows underneath your base layer paint and gives you these cells and the edges are going to sell up more and it gives more lacing effect. I didn't have too much of the white paint on there, so it didn't happen that much. But when I went over there with the torch, everything sailed up pretty nicely and it looks cool. And when everything was dry, this gold again is pretty much mind blowing. It has pretty tiny cells because I just 
forged in the end. I could have torched right away when everything was poured out to allow the yeah, cells to stretch more, to get larger, but I pretty much like this small cell look, I don't know. And this actually is everything that I did for this pour. It was an experiment for me to see if I'm really good with another color palette, especially when these earthy tones are into play. And I'm still second guessing. So I really like how this one turned out. I'm just not so sure if the browns are my colors. So you know how much I love the blues and the turquoises and the teals and the white and the gold and the burgundies. Yeah, but this brown still is something I have to wrap my mind around. But I'm curious to hear what you think about it. Do you think I should do more in this brown earthy tone scale? or what colors you actually like the most when it comes to my pores. Are you getting bored of only seeing these blue ones? Let me know, I'm really curious how you think about it, what colors you would like to see on my channel, what you would like to try me next, perhaps. So leave me down below in the comment section. Again, all the colors that I've used are listed down below. Use the Arteza 10% code if you would like. And besides that, I'm still having a sale running on my Etsy for those who need something painted on their walls. So if you like, have a look at there as well. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so far. And if you are a new subscriber, please make sure to head over to my playlist section and have a look at all the other videos that you might be interested in. So I made some playlist there. One is called Awesome Results, which are my best of videos from the last two years. And some also contain the realism and drawing painting arts that I'm doing. So yeah, thank you as usual for your time. Thank you for watching. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.